Hi, my name is Donnell and I'm the adopt -a pond coordinator here at the Toronto Zoo. And with adopt -a pond we focus on the conservation of reptiles, amphibians and their habitats. And today I'm going to share with you how to move a turtle across the road. Now here in Ontario we have eight different turtle species and of those eight, all are species at risk. And one major threat that they face throughout their range here in Ontario is road mortality. So a lot of turtles will travel from one wetland to another um, for many different reasons. They might be looking for a mate, they might be looking for resources like food or habitat, um, or they might be looking for a place to spend the winter or if it's a female, to lay her eggs. And so while they're making these movements, um, often turtles are hit by cars and unfortunately they do not survive. So here we have a scenario where we've got a lovely painted turtle out on the road and uh, before we do anything, we make sure, of course, that it is safe for us to pull our car over and to exit the vehicle. Our safety and your safety is the, of the utmost importance. And so this turtle here is uh, quite a familiar scene that you may see while traveling through Ontario, especially in areas where wetlands are on one side of the road or on both sides of the road. And so if you're able to exit your vehicle safely, you can come up to the turtle Gently pick the turtle up with two hands. And this is a painted turtle. Um, so you can see the markings, the red markings on the shell here, and the yellow markings on the head behind the eye and the neck. Um, this, these are features that distinguish this turtle from the other species. And this is one of the most common turtle species that we have here in Ontario. So it's very likely that you may see these turtles when you're out and about. Um, so you can see here that I'm using two hands. I'm supporting the bottom of the turtle or the plastron while also um, supporting the top of the turtle so that even as the turtle kicks at my hands and you'll see here that the turtle has claws on the back legs as well as the front legs. So you wanna be aware of that um, and just expect that they might try to kick your hands away. And if I need to let go with one hand, I still have the other secure, I can re-grip and make sure that I'm holding the turtle safely and in a way so that I will not drop it. And then when you move the turtle, you generally want to try to bring them in the direction that they were headed. Um, but if you are unsure of where the turtle was heading, anywhere off of the road is going to be better than on the road. And so you simply take the turtle, move it to the edge of the road. You can see here we've got a wetland area right here. So this might be the area the turtle was trying to access and then you just gently let them go. And they may take a moment or two, but they'll start making their way. Um, and once they are a safe distance from the road, you can safely move back to your vehicle and be on your way as well.